Oh, road here we Road trip rich. And who else stopped and by? Off the beaten path. Yes, we are at the National Museum of the Great Lakes. We're gonna go inside and see what's so great about them. Buckle up, kids. But take a ride on the toll road. Now, unfortunately, we were about a week too early to take a tour aboard the old steamship, the Colonel James M. Schoenmacher. Am I pronouncing it right? Most assuredly not, but we're going to have to go with that. The James M. Schoenmacher. Schoenmacher is 617 feet long and was given the title of Queen of the Lakes, which is given to the biggest ship on the Great Lakes. She first hit the seas in 1911 and sailed for many companies, including the Chicago Furnace Company, Republic Steel Corporation, and the Cleveland Cliff Iron Company. Seen behind the Schumacher is the Veterans Glass City Skyway, or better known as the Toledo Skyway Bridge, spanning the Maumee River. The bridge has a total length of 8,800 feet, stands 400 feet high, and has a 130-foot clearance over the waters below. Now let's step inside the museum and see what it has to offer. Okay, what materials are used to build these boats? Well, I would guess birch bark, wood, and steel, obviously. Birch bark. Yeah. Wood. Uh-huh. Or steel. What I tell you, I knew it. In the shipping business, the difference in hull materials is huge. Birch bark made this 18th century canoe lightweight, but not very durable. Yeah, I wouldn't want to cross the ocean in it. From local oak, the hull of 19th century schooners like the Challenge and WS Crossweight were rugged. But wooden ships had size limitations. Then, in the 1880s, came steel. Steel. The Merida, with its steel hull, was nearly twice the length of the schooners, and it could last a hundred years. The schooners, about 30. More cargo space, stronger boats. Steel hulls meant more profit. Cha ching what did you stumble across here? Well, just looking at this canoe. Okay, right. standard canoe, right? Yeah, this uh, traveled the lakes and the creeks. These, they brought in beaver pelts. And, well, they would carry... Wait a minute, are you just reading this off of this? Yes, I am. I thought you knew all of this. See, I, I so learned this from is, you. This I is full. No, you. I everything I say is straight off the top yeah, of my head. Stuff on, I know. There's, there's, so is this their like, pack of all the stuff they would have there? Yeah. They would hold about six to ten guys, and each pack was about 60 to, uh, nine, uh, 60 to 90 pounds. Uh, well, let's let's, let's see your squat uh, strength here. There. This, is this it leg day for you? What's that? Is it leg day for you? It's leg day. All right, leg day for Road Trip Rich. Look at it. Wow, you're in better shape than I thought you were. Not saying a whole lot, but <laughs> you, you feeling it? No. Rich, I wanted me to do it too, but I threw a couple extra pounds on, so mine's about twice of what you did, Rich. Oh. Ah, 99, yeah. 100, 101. Uh, I'm just showing off now. I guess that's enough. Yeah, I'm not wearing my boots. What are you talking about? Boots for what? It's getting deep in here. Oh, no, it's not. So the old pump here, they says all wooden boats leak, and you have to have a pump to get the uh, water out. Unfortunately, because of COVID, this exhibit is closed, or Richard and myself would show you how many millions of gallons of water we could get out in, what, a couple minutes? Oh, if, if, if that. If that, yeah. There's one thing I'm, we're good at is, well, nothing, but we would have showed you.
I figured I'd find you over here, Rich, with your favorite thing and every chamber place pot? you go, your your chamber pot there. Get one of those for the car for you. Uh, Rich, I got something for you here. This is kind of a redo of the wreckage of the HMS, excuse me, HMS General Hunter. Was found in the, uh, found in Lake Erie. Let's see how many of the uh, different things you can find here. Go ahead and use this metal detector. Okay. What do I do? Or excuse me, the magnometer. You just... Move it up and down and around. Can you find anything? What, what do you got? English creamware. I don't know what creamware is, but you found it. Come on, it's the stuff the English put their cream in. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, for their tea and... Well, you accidentally found something else. Yeah, you Used army button. Used army button. Those come in handy. Okay. Uh, oh. Reconstructed ballast pile. Where's the where's the gold and pieces? I guess they probably wouldn't have any of that on this ship. Oh, I'll find it. I'll find it. Somehow I doubt you. Oh, what is that? A cannon. Oh. Well, that doesn't look like a cannon. Oh. Gold's nearby. <laughs> oh, you find some cannonballs, lead shot. Lead shots. Oh, makes sense. Right next to the cannon. Yeah, it goes to figure. Try to see what you have. What is that there? Iron pins. Yeah, sorry, button. Eagle clutching rope. Now, I really wouldn't want to get on the wrong end of uh, old Popeye's flare gun here. Looking <coughs> at the master at work here. I'm going to steal his footage and then I won't have to do any work. <laughs> The most famous shipwreck of the Great Lakes has to be the Edmund Fitzgerald, which lost its entire crew of 29 men when it sank to the bottom of Lake Superior during a storm on November 10th, 1975. Unfortunately for the people of the Edmund Fitzgerald, the person they send to save them... You see, I'm, I'm this submerged. Guy. Yeah, you're not going to find survivors or any kind of wreckage from Edmund Fitzgerald. Move from space. joystick left or right to steer.
we've done it. We've gone to the National Museum of the Great Lakes. Uh, one question for you, Rich. You know yep. all about them now, right? Yeah. Name me the Great Lakes in alphabetical order. Go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P, E. Wait, do you even name a Great Lake? Lake Superior. Lake Erie. Okay, there's more. Um, okay, you're going to have to go back here. in there. There's a cheat yeah. sheet over there if you want to look at it. <laughs> Ontario, Huron, Michigan, and Superior. Yeah, uh, finally, this random stranger out here in Noom. How's, how's it going, random stranger? Good. How are you all doing? Uh, Make sure you watch news. this episode. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, they're watching it right now. This is what they're seeing it on. This well, is in your I mean, if you're seeing your us channel. now, make sure you just see it. You're supposed to say watch your video. Watch my video. <laughs> Watching his video. Absolutely. That's going to do it for the toll road. Who knows where it leads to next.